Well, good morning, all you not owls. <laughs> yeah, this is a perfect job for me, really, because I'm up all night anyway. I have been trying to figure out a way to fall asleep for years. And this is such a pleasant time to be out and about. It's quiet, and there's not much going on other than a ride share. <clears throat> people, oh, well, it's 404, so it's slowed down. I've had a really good night, really busy night. Uh, all the college kids are back at UTC. So I've had a lot of college rides tonight. And um, I took my break, or I took a second break about, I think it was about 2.30 down at the West End again. I just ran and grabbed something to eat brought it back in the car and ate it and then I turned my hat back on because we had the surge going. A sur I'm not sure if I explained the surge. A surge is when um, on my app it's like a red sock radar on a weather map and the redder it is the higher pay. So what it is there's a uh, Hold on a second, let me make sure I didn't miss it. No. Um, I've got my Uber app on, just in case I get a ride request. But, in the center, or somewhere around the red area, will be different numbers. And that's the surge that I will get. That's the amount of money I will get in that surge. It's paid for by the rider. The highest I've ever got was 50 bucks. I got 50 bucks for a trip down to Rome, Georgia, too. It worked out perfect. So, but if you ever are trying to ride and the prices fluctuate, that's the reason. It's, um, you know, that means, like, say, in a certain area, there's, say, 50 riders trying to get a ride, but there's only 10 drivers. So that surge will entice this other other drivers to go to that area to help take care of the demand and man I'm going down Brainerd Road right now I'll tell you where I'm at I'm across from Sierra Time it used to be Holiday Bowl I'm headed back downtown this whole town smells like weed I got I've got my I don't guess I have my I don't even have my sunroof open I got the no <laughs> it smells like weed no matter where you go around here this is like a Woodstock or Bonnaroo concert but that happens a lot, by the way, I just want to say. I, I, I pick people up all the time, smell like weed. At first I used to think, oh God, my next rider's going to think I've been smoking weed and driving. But, I don't know, nobody said anything, so. <laughs> but, um, it's slowing down because this is the first time I've had my app on and haven't just had a ride request right away. So what I'm doing now, I went to, uh, I picked the guy, my last ride I picked up was in uh, Hickson and brought him to the airport. So I stopped by the Speedway and got me a cup of joe. And I'm not sleepy, I just like coffee. It's really good. But I've had a really good night. And the one thing I want to tell you about is the request I got and I went to it's downtown stop to at the address it said is is at the corner of uh, Chestnut and Riverside uh, River Park no let's see it was well it was right there by the aquarium it wasn't Riverside Drive. yeah it was anyway when I got there you know when I go to the address I can also look to see where the, where the where the person is or at least where the phone is it has a little indicator and it, they were out in the water so I assumed they were on a boat. And so I called and see how long it's gonna take it. And they were heavily intoxicated. But it all worked out and they got to my car pretty quick. And, uh, they, the two that requested the ride had brought three other people with, with them. And they all wanted to ride in the car. And I said, well, yeah, I gotta have seat belts on everybody. So I only take two, two more. Oh, that's okay, this one girl said, that's okay, I'm, I'll, I'll get another ride. And, so 
they had only put one destination in, in the request, but they asked me to take these other two people to their house. It wasn't that far out of the way. It was on the other, I was at Ross's Land and then I took the other people across the river, crossed into the North Shore, dropped them off. And they were all so drunk and they just thought I was the greatest thing on earth because I did that, you know. And my car is the, the most amazing Uber car they've ever seen. And they, he wanted my number so I, I could, he could use me as his personal taxi and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, I dropped I dropped off the first couple, and then I took the original uh, ride request people to their house, which was on back on the other side of the river. And it wasn't too far, but man, they were just like, "Oh man, this is the coolest car!" And yada yada yada. Man, you got on a lobster shirt, honey. He's got on a lobster shirt. Look, it's a lobster shirt. Oh God, where's these lights coming from? Where's these? How do you do these slides? Everything's just magnified, amazing. You know how it is when you drink. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I let them pick their music and I forget, they picked Nirvana, which was really cool. But So here's the story. When we, when I dropped them off, here's the fun, here's the fun part. They were in the back and I heard her say, oh no, you've got too many zeros on the guy asked me, will you close out the app so I can give you your tip? Of course, he said it slurred. And I said, yeah, yeah, so I can't close the ride out. And then she started going, oh, no, you got too many zeros on there. He goes, well, I want to give him 200. No, 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 just get, take a zero off and give him 20. No, I really want to give him $200. And I was like, uh, who's going to win this argument? Well, I'll let you guys just think about that. Who usually wins arguments? Well, maybe this time it was different. Guess. Take, I'll take some guesses. Tom Tom get a $200 tip tonight? Or did he get a $20 tip, which is really good? So what do you think? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Talk to you in a bit.